Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel, and thanks for logging on. As we continue our journey through the 2018 Omega Watch catalog, we reach what might be the core model among the most discussed dive watch redesign of this model year from any brand. Now, 25 years young, we celebrate a quarter century of the latter-day icon Omega Seamaster Professional Diver 300 meter, now coaxial master chronometer. It's a little bit larger than when it first bowed in 1993. The watch has become a 42, but thanks to new pivoted end links, it wears more compact across the wrist. Throwing this one on my 16 centimeter circumference wrist, you can see all in steel. The watch is easy to wear as the 42 millimeter case effectively wears as compact as the old 41. Though it's grown to 50 millimeters lug to lug, it's the pivoted end links of the bracelet that allow it to exit straight down and thus wear more easily on smaller wrists than even the somewhat more compact preceding model. It remains slim too, far thinner than most competing dive watches at 13.6 millimeters. You will find it easily slips underneath the cup. You don't have to be James Bond to wear this one with formal attire. You will note that there's a 20 millimeter spacing between the lugs, so a bevy of Omega options are available should you wish to accessorize this watch with a strap rather than the factory bracelet. The factory bracelet is a wonderful piece, however. Let's quickly take a look at how it's changed over the years. Since 1993, it's become more solid. It still has the famed five-link design with intermediate polished elements and majority satin, but of course, Modern variants of this bracelet only include removable links sized with screws, and it's more squared off about its shoulders than the old rounded profile from the inaugural Diver 300s. You'll also note, as ever, big gaps on the underside to vent the wrist and avoid pinching skin or pulling hair. The clasp, subtly reprofiled, is an artful piece. It feels milled from a solid, and you will note that a combination of polished olive-style triggers and polished bevel means that though it is a utilitarian diving tool. Nevertheless, it does have an element of craft quality and the artist's eye for detail is well represented in its design. Inside, it's been upgraded as it no longer features only an all or nothing dive extension. That's still present and correct. There is now a push button incremental slider to give you 9.6 millimeters of incremental adjustment should you wish to use the dive clasp for sizing rather than simply fitment over a diving suit. The conical Helium escape valve is a critical component, an expected component after 25 years, but changed in profile, so it's a little bit more visually pared down, a bit more visually slight, and yet upgraded in that it can now be opened underwater if need be. Slimmer in profile, more functional. It's both utilitarian and a wonderful conversation starter, even if you're not a saturation diver. The bezel remains exemplary, both in its high legibility, its scratch resistance thanks to its blue ceramic insert and its sharp detent, which you can hear, and thanks to a crisp click spring you can feel. A tactile pleasure to use and easy to reference against the subtly reprofiled skeleton minute hand. You will note that the luminescent pearl allows you to use it as a impromptu zero to 60 minute timer. I find for most applications, a dive bezel will beat a chronograph. The dial itself marks the return of the much loved Omega waves or Seamaster waves that most remember and remember fondly from the original Diver 300. Gone for one generation of the watch, now back, the dial base is gloss blue ceramic, so it's effectively as tarnish and oxidation resistant as enamel, and the waves have been laser etched for a depth and texture effect. The raised indices are all applied, a high grade touch that many will appreciate on a dive watch, and matched with high polished and lightly reprofiled skeleton hands. The skeleton hands remain, and you'll also note that a few splashes of color complement the blue and the white polish of the hands and indices. The shock of red for the Seamaster script, and the end of the seconds index. You will note the crown featuring slimmed crown guards, still sheer proof, still nicely guarded, but a bit more elegant in profile with the characteristic Omega satin finished sheer sides and polished bevels. Turn it all over and more surprises await. For the first time in a series production Diver 300 meter, we have a display case back and it is worth your while because the caliber 8800, a master coaxial chronometer caliber, is beautiful to see. Cote de Genève in arabesque spiral across the winding mass as well as the full balance bridge. Shock resistance is assured by a free sprung index and a full bridge. Anti-magnetism via an Omega SI14 silicon hairspring that verges on amagnetic. 
also responsible for the upgrading of the warranty on these watches. Now a master coaxial chronometer. What that means is the new Swiss Federal Institute of Metrology standards for chronometry, resistances, and overall quality as a cased-up watch, not as a bare movement as in the COSC test. All the COSC timing standards still apply, but the METAS standard that Omega helped to develop and administers to these watches as fully cased timepieces assures that the watch you put on your wrist will be as robust as a dive watch should be and as precise as a chronometer should be. No longer adjusted in just five positions as with the COSC test, adjusted in a full six positions. 55 hour power reserve, this one has long legs and it has a hacking seconds or stop seconds function. The new date relocated at six o'clock to balance and anchor the dial. Features a quick set so you can rapidly cycle the date should the watch run down or encounter an irregular length month. Still 300 meters water resistant with helium escape capability. The timepiece has never been more robustly constructed, beautifully appointed, or as impressively engineered, slightly larger, but just as impressive in presence and stance. This watch has gravitas irrespective of outright size. See the legend and learn more on our website, govbergwatches.com. And I am back with the 2018 25th anniversary Omega Seamaster Professional Diver 300 meter, robustly loomed with no doubt about where the four corners lie thanks to asymmetrical index form. You'll also note asymmetrical luminescence with green used for the critical diving pearl about the bezel as well as the minute hand. See this one by the light of day and learn more on govbergwatches.com.